How do you run Fook? I'm Frost Fluff. Welcome back to another episode of Frost of Fluff's Game Staff. Today we're jumping into a Surgeon Simulator. Uh, I figured when I jump into a brand new uh, adventure and see uh, how things pan out. I don't know how I got this job. I was chasing a bay caught in the wind in the parking lot, getting my steps, and then uh, next thing you know, I'm in here. <laughs> oh well, I guess as uh, long as they're paying. Cool. Open. Open sesame? <laughs> what kind of practice this is where you have to. Well, for one, it's very messy, especially if we're in like a hospital setting. Excellent button pressing. You're a natural. I am sorry about the mess. You should be this. Oh man, were we back in like the 60s, 50s? Look at the size of that. Well, I'm assuming it's a TV. And the file cabinets, you just don't see those anymore. <laughs> this is what I think of your apology. Yeah. Anywho, onward we go. Man, this place is a huge mess. <laughs> I imagine their budget's uh, that really door tight. requires an ID card. I'm sure I left mine around there Left trigger, right, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes. All right, I got the security card. Don't mind the hand, it's a little broken, but still anyway, they're just... Anyway, I'm Dr. Pamela Preston, one of the Ooh. founders. You'll be the very first to trial our surgeon simulator training program. Exciting. Cool. I believe it's the first. Uh, the place is a mess. But man, they gotta have some amount of money if the facility's this big. I'm just gonna take that, because uh, I'm getting real Resident uh, Evil vibes with how messy things are and uh, how the building uh, appears. Give me the broom. I might have to fly my way out of here. I watch Harry Potter movies. I don't know how this thing works. Uh, yeah. What is this? <laughs> Why are these doors here? They don't go anywhere. I don't think this building's done with this construction. There we go. As I said, it's a work in progress. <laughs> I don't think this place is ready to be open for any kind of business if it's this hard to get in here. Oh, are you kidding? I gotta go back for it. Damn it. I dropped the darn thing too. It didn't even occur to me to carry that. <laughs> I was so infatuated with my broom, I, uh, I forgot it back here. So, whoops. Change this way. This thing is huge. If this is an ID card, it's about the size of a phone or a small tablet. It's got to weigh a ton. Perfect for fighting off uh, overly aggressive salesmen and uh, noisy critters that happen to be in your in your part of the neighborhood. I'm looking at you, skunks and owls. This is Bob, a Barnardshire local. You'll get to know him very well indeed through the course of the program. The Surgeon Simulated Training Program is a groundbreaking new approach to surgery. Real patients, real conditions, simulated scenarios. That's Soon nifty. You'll be able to tackle all kinds of medical emergencies with ease and confidence. It's all terribly exciting. We'll start your training with a quick heart. Trial. Don't worry, Bob. I'll Don't save you. I'll get you out of here. It. It'll be a breeze. My arm's stuck on the thing. <laughs> I think it's because the ID is... Uh, well, I lost my ID. Level one complete. <laughs> She's got a stance where it's like some part of a PSA. Say no to drugs, kids. Oh my God, are these? Am I working with aliens? Let's try Sergion this Simulator Tranning Prodram. Keep a close eye on Bob's blood level. If he bleeds out, it's game over. Well, for one of us. According to the scanner, Bob's got a dodgy right leg. Rip it off! Dodgy right leg? How's it dodgy? It looks fine. He's got all his little toes. That one went to the market. Rip his right leg off and put it in the chute. You think I'm Superman? You think I can just do that? Well, well. If she's got confidence, if she's got confidence in me to pull off his leg, then by golly, I gotta at least give it a try. Da! Good. Give me that. Quickly pop the leg in the chute. There's a chute? Oh. <laughs> Just gonna recycle that, because you never know when you might need a right leg. Great! Now use a yellow syringe to stop Bob's bleeding. Come on, give me the syringe, damn it! Ah, crap. That thing's huge! Oh my god! Stop Bob's bleeding with a yellow syringe. I'm trying. This thing weighs a ton. No, that's unfortunate. Try again. Rip his right leg off and put it in the chute. No, we lost our first Bob. 
Bob the Builder lost his leg. Yoink! Just toss that down to shoot. Put that. Gonna make a pasta out of that. <laughs> Alrighty, Bob. Don't worry. I'm gonna get you patched up. Look at split. Yeah. Bob's bleeding. Stem the blood with a yellow syringe. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Now, grab a fresh leg and just pop it on. All right, just get rid of this. Don't worry, Bob. We grew you a brand spanking new leg. Remember, when you rip off an appendage, Bob will bleed out very quickly. Let's continue. Looks like Bob's low Swear. on blood. Give him a top up with a red syringe first. All right, Bob. Doctor Awesome here. It says here you're missing a little bit of blood. I don't think I need to tell you that blood's supposed to stay in you. So we're gonna just gonna pop you up or top you up with a little bit of some little spare stuff we had lying around in the kitchen. And uh, here you go, right in the foot, in the He's ankle. <laughs> already. Rather than just ripping off a limb, use a little more finesse this time. Why don't you grab a saw? For good sawing technique. Grab the saw straight on. If you need to realign your grip, drop it and try again. Align the saw with the cutting line. Place it down gently and saw back and forth until the limb drops off. Well, you want to tell me where this darn thing Remember, is in the first place? Remember, <laughs> if you use the saw, Bob will bleed out much more slowly. Okay, uh, I'm just going to try to find the said saw. Oh, here we go. There's a whole bunch of them. Hold on, i got to drop that. Saw his right arm off and pop a fresh one on. All right. <laughs> Let's see how uh, this will pan out. Don't worry, Bob. I went to. I spent like five years. In, uh, sorry, eight years in med school, and then watched every Saw season his of House. Right arm off and pop a fresh one on. I assure you, I am qualified. And we're almost there. So, how's the wife and kids? Yeah, Jack won his uh, little soccer game. Oh, that's grand. Oh. Hold on, almost got your arm off there, and... What? I should be wearing gloves and be in a sterilized environment? No, don't worry, don't worry. I went to mid school, I totally got this under control. Saw his right arm off and pop a fresh one on. There we go, hold on, I'm just gonna put this... Mind holding that for me, Bob? Nice, what a sweetheart. There we go, brand spanking new one for you. something. Now remember, for a successful appendage transplant, Bob must have all of his limbs and head attached. Let's proceed. Uh, you got it, boss. And finally, an organ transplant. Remember to check the diagnostic scanner. To perform a successful transplant, the sick organs must come out. The rest of the organs are optional. Crack the ribs with something heavy to get at his lungs. Grab a scalpel and stick it into a lung to remove it. You can just rip organs out, but Bob will bleed out much more quickly. Don't worry, Bob. I'm going to save you. I'm going to get those sickly lungs out of you. So we'll just use this hammer and, you know, bash it out. Crack the ribs, remove the old lungs, and pop in some new ones. Don't worry, Bob. I'm going to save you. Crack you won't feel a thing. All right, there we go. Ah, just gonna. Crack the ribs, remove the old lungs, and pop in some new ones. I'm working on it. Jeez, Louise, lady, come on. It's my first day on the job. I mean, <laughs> I'm learning as I go. What do you think? I go to med school or something? Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, just gonna pull that out. Okay, that's a little stuck. Don't worry. You don't Crack need. The ribs, Whoops. Uh... <laughs> the old lungs, we don't need that. Some new ones. We can grow you a new one. Lickety split. Just uh, hang tight there, buddy. Is that his heart? I don't think that was his... That's gotta be a lung, right? This is why you paid the big bucks to be at this facility, because you got the best doctors around. Equipped with the best tools in, in the industry. We'll have you out of here in no time. Hold on, just, uh... Yeah. Crack the ribs, remove the old lungs, and pop in some new ones. There we go. And we got a brand spanking new lung Remove for you. the old lungs and pop in some new ones. Lung number one and lung number two. We're going to call them Bill and Bob. So, Bill and Bob, here's your new home. Beautifully done. Remember, removing an organ with a tool will result in much lower blood loss. Awesome. 
When my friends and I built this place, we hoped to open up the mysteries of surgery to the world. We believe anyone, no matter their background, can become a surgeon. As you can see, <laughs> all it No takes education required. We'll attitude. teach you hands on. Level 2 complete. I'm practically qualified. I mean, again, I watched all the. Uh, I watched the entire series of House. Well, folks, I think that's what I'm going to call this episode. Uh, it's definitely been fun. I probably will do a few more episodes. Because this game, although not much for story and whatnot, it looks like it could be fun. So I definitely want to try to get in a couple more episodes. That said, uh, thanks for swinging by my PC and art today. And uh, it'd be appreciated if you put a like on the video. Comment what you like. Didn't like? Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> and uh, until next time, folks, have a good one. Yeah!